welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys. I have not made a video in some time now. I've been in a funk and I'm trying to get out this funk and I've been in this funk for I feel like a couple months and I'm really trying to get out of it because you know I really enjoy making videos and I recently have like I guess a temporary side up so I've been posting articles on there and I need to get the ball rolling and get out of this funk that I'm in. So today um what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um some stuff that I saw on Twitter today. So it's pretty much about Bow Wow. So if you guys know who Bow Wow is, like he's like a childhood rapper or whatever. And to be quite honest with you, like I haven't like paid attention to Bow Wow like music wise since I was probably like in the third grade. So I don't even understand why he's even still trying to become relevant now. But um, recently, you know, he's been getting more into acting and hosting and stuff like that. So he hasn't really been making music he was when he was younger but um i'm about to pull up the article now pretty much it was a account or some youtube channel that interviewed bow wow and the title of this supposed article is it an article or a youtube video let me click on it yeah so TheLadTV.com, I guess interviewed or they got okay they got their source from bossup.com but they pretty much made an article about Bow Wow and in the article well the title of the article says Bow Wow says he's mixed and cannot relate to civil rights issues because I remember, to be honest I didn't read the article and it just the title it just did it for me I'm just gonna read the first paragraph so it appears that Bow Wow will be going will be going the Nick Cannon route and staying home instead of voting on November 8th. But unlike the 35 year old America's Got Talent host, Bow Wow is, not, is no Black Lives Matter celeb. Him not voting has nothing to do with his political strategy as a black man because according to Bow Wow, he, ident he identifies himself as mixed. I'm not gonna read the rest of that article. So with that being said, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys my thoughts about this and you guys can leave you know your thoughts about it below so number one i don't understand why anybody would want to interview bow wow to be quite frank like to be honest with you guys why is anybody interviewing bow wow bow wow has been irrelevant for like the longest i don't keep up with bow wow I don't pay attention to bow wow and it's kind of annoying that he's even trending right now also with that being said okay you're mixed his argument on Twitter was that he doesn't know what his ancestors were doing and that he since I'm gonna put the picture of the tweet but he said he doesn't know what his ancestors were doing back in the day and blah 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 okay okay cool you want to scream the whole I'm mixed situ um, I'm mixed card okay that's cool but like do you not think you have black ancestors Am I like, is, you know, am I jumping to conclusions here? Like, you know, Twitter jumped down his throat and everybody had a lot to say. A lot of people were saying stuff like, okay, you know, you just starting all these black movies, black shows, you know, does BT, do they need to get the check back? Like, what's the deal? Link it. A lot of people had stuff to say and People were upset that he was even trending. I was upset that he was trending because nobody even pays attention to Bow Wow. That's like you interviewing freaking Raven Simone. Nobody wants to watch an interview by Raven Simone. And if and if she starts, if anybody is ignorant as them start trending, people are like, why are they even trending? Who is interviewing them? Why do you guys keep interviewing them? Fifth generation African Americans, they they are mixed. We're not full African. Period. So for him to sit there and consider himself mixed, like be and and relate that to him not being able to relate to civil rights issues is pretty ignorant. Him not be able to relate to civil rights issues more so has to do with the way that he was raised. He's been in the freaking um, you know, pub publicity like he's been in like movies and he's made music and he's been in the entertainment industry since he was a kid. So of course he's not gonna be able to relate to stuff like that because he didn't grow up, you know, dealing with black civil rights issues. Does that make sense? So for him, like, it's just, it's very ignorant on so many different levels for him to even make, to even come to that conclusion, like, hey, I cannot relate to these issues because I consider myself mixed. No, you can't relate to these issues because you didn't grow up 
um, as a regular child, you grew up in the entertainment industry, so you didn't have to deal with some of the stuff that other African Americans have to deal with in this country. So for you to say something like that is really ignorant and stupid on your part. And Bow Wow's PR, you know, y'all need to be fired. Bow Wow, go ahead and fire your PR. They need, you need to be fired. You don't need to talk to any, talk to any more, do any more interviews because you're ignorant. So tell me what you guys think about the whole Bow Wow interview crap. Why are they still interviewing Bow Wow? How do you feel about the statement that he made? Do you feel like do you feel like because he's mixed, he should that's the reason why he can't really civil rights issues, or is it more so because he grew up in the spot the spotlight entertainment industry in the spotlight, or people know who he is and he's been in inter entertainment industry for so long since he was a kid, so he has not had experience with stuff like this. Honest with you, the way I grew up, I don't have I don't have I have never encountered like um things that affect him because of me being African American but I've seen it affect other people and I've read books about it so him like not being raised around that is still not, even, not an excuse. Edu educate yourself sir. Educate yourself. But anyway tell me what you guys think. Please leave your comment below. Um, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, bbhawaii underscore. Please be sure to check out my website. It's www.brownpdhawaii.com. Hopefully soon I'll start um, featuring some businesses on my website and some artists, which is in the makings. Um, and hopefully you guys will help me get out this funk that I've been in. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye email from somebody that follows me I'm not gonna say his name so the email says been dating this woman from some time now and she wears a lot of weed <sighs> I didn't care before but one time she wore her natural hair for a week straight she never did this before and I loved it it seems it smelled so good and it it smelled better than her weave and she actually let me run my hands through it I'm not sure how to tell her that I don't like when she wears weave and I would rather she wore her natural hair more often. How do I express this to her? Okay. So 